Hey friends, so now one of you did ask a really good question on my videos. Why in data analytics we used Python libraries like Plotly for data visualizations when we have more powerful tools like Power BI and Tableau? So why we have to bother learning Python libraries if we have BI tools? So now I'm going to tell you my experience about this and the answer for this, I use both of them. It is not either we use Power BI Tableau or the Python libraries like Plotly. They are in real projects, different scenarios, and you might end up using both of them. So now as usual, I'm going to show you a sketch in order to understand how I deal with this. So now what happens at that, I go and do a few analyzes and explore the data using Python. And now once I have like some insight and answers, I think about it like this. If I want to show the result only in my team, in my department, I go and use Plotty. I don't have to go and create fancy stuff about the results. But if I find like an amazing story behind my data where I can answer important business question, I do it like this. I go and grab one of the BI tools and build the visualization there because I'm gonna go and present it for important audience and it is way easier to tell a story using BI tools like Tableau or Power BI than just showing like Python code and charts. So if I want to present like an important topic for important audience, I go with the BI tools. It is just more attractive and easier. But if I want to quickly present some results in my team, I go and use Plotty and Python. All right, friends. So now let's recap and I'm gonna show you now how I decide to use which tool for which scenario. The first scenario you want to do fast exploration on raw data that are totally unprepared. So the data has bad data quality and as well very huge. Here I recommend to go with Python libraries because preparing the data in Python is way easier than doing that in Power BI and I can do everything in one step cleaning up the data and immediately showing some visualizations. So if you are exploring the data, go with the Python. Now the second scenario, if you want to share your result with many people, so a lot of people want to access your reports and you have to control and manage the accesses, then of course you need a BI tool like Power BI or Tableau. They are made for this purpose in order to create role based accesses and to manage as well the security of your insights and data. Now the next scenario, it could be like this. There is a critical business question in the department so we have an ad hoc question and we have to answer this question quickly. For that, it is way quicker and flexible to use Python libraries in order to search and deliver the answer. So here what matters is the speed. It's not about the fancy dashboards and colors. We have today a question and we need today an answer. Now another scenario, as we said, if you are sharing your result, your report with non-technical people, then use BI tools like Power BI and Tableau because they are beautiful, interactive, and it is as well very easy easy to understand the story. And of course, on the other side, if you want to share your result with your team, with the other technical people, then don't go waste time building fancy reports. Just go and show them the result in Python. So for that, use the Python libraries. Now, one last scenario that I can think of, if for some reason you have to generate hundreds of reports. So now, of course, it's going to be really hard in Power BI to go and create all those visuals because you have to go and do them manually. So you have to go and create 100 reports. In the other side, in Python libraries, it is very simple. You just create very nice for loop and iterate through very simple plotly function. So if you want automation and you generate like hundreds of reports, of course, it's going to be way easier to use the Python libraries. So I can see my friends, if you are doing data analytics and real projects, you're going to end up using both of them, the BI tools and the Python libraries. So my recommendation here is, of course, to learn both of them. So it was a really great question. Thank you for that. And if you have another question, just post it in the comment below and I'm going to do my best to answer them. If you like this video and you want more content like this, then support the channel by subscribing, liking, commenting. This is going to really help to grow the channel and to reach more people like you and to grow as a data community. So. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.